Hi, my name is Josh Evelsizer. Today we're going over AI chatbot prompting fundamentals. Are you watching the right video? Well, if your AI chatbot results aren't what you like them to be, or if you're just starting out with AI and you want to know the basics of an effective prompt, then yes. Questions answered in this video. What are the first two building blocks of an effective prompt and why should you care? Let's jump right in. We're using Claude recently updated 3.0 version Sonnet, which is the free version, to help illustrate our learning points today, which is the first two building blocks of an effective prompt, start simple and be specific. Start simple and be specific. We're gonna use a planning scenario as if we were planning a family vacation. And I'm gonna provide first a bad example of starting specific starting simple and being specific. So a bad example is we have a small family, we're going on a trip and I need some ideas. Okay, we have a small, according to who, uh, we're going, we, we're going, who's we, going on a trip, where, when, and I need some ideas. So just bad example. Better example of starting simple and being specific, right here, suggest a seven day family well, family's not super specific yet. <clears throat> Summer vacation destination. So we've gotten a lot better. Starting simple, being specific. We'll go ahead and launch this. Of course, as soon as we do that, we're like, oh yeah, wanted to go to Europe. That's cool. I will add that to my next prompt. So we're going to go ahead and do what is key here, which is to gradually add details, examples, and context to refine our outputs. We're gonna use clear, concise, specific language to describe desired tasks, formats, and constraints. All that said, we are adding, gradually adding details as they become known to us or remembered by us. So taking it out of our head and putting it in here and being specific and simple. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and get myself out of the way here. Provide th three options for a seven day family summer vacation in Europe for two adults and two kids. We've gotten much more specific. So we'll go ahead and launch that. And Claude is, I'm sure, gonna give us some great places. London, England, Rome, Florence, Venice, Italy, and Paris and Disneyland, Paris, France. Very good suggestions. Thank you, Claude. All right, so we're gradually adding specific details to increase the value of our prompt. We are avoiding fluff, Every word that we used up here provide three options for a seven day family summer vacation in Europe for two adults and two kids. There's no ambiguous or unuseful or, or every word here matters. Every word matters. So don't add fluff. That's the takeaway there. The f second to last caveat here is we need to speak positively. We want to tell the AI chatbot, we need to say what to do. We need to not say what not to do. So say what to do, not what not to do. And let's go ahead and just provide an example to be clear here. All right, so give positive direction is what I'm, is what I'm saying here. And how do we do that? So here's the bad example. If we were to say, as part of our prompt, our vacation destination, requesting prompt, if we were to say, don't suggest expensive destinations. Don't suggest expen, okay, so everything else is on the table basically. I'm sure, I'm sure there are some very, very cool hostels in Romania, but that's not what we're looking for as a four person family going on vacation in Europe. So instead of speaking negatively, as in don't include this, we wanna, we wanna be positive positive direction. All right, so our positive direction here is going to be suggest locations that fall within a $4,000 budget for a family of four. So instead of saying, don't give us expensive destinations, give us suggest locations that fall within a $4,000 budget for a family of four. We've been very specific and positive. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and in, instead of 
entering this prompt because it's now it's disconnected from the rest of our prompt. We're just going to go ahead and grab this and add it to our little scratch pad for our prompt that we are gradually building using simple and specific details. The last caveat that I want to provide is similar to what we just talked about. If you must say what not to do, clearly state the alternative action. So if you have if you have to provide a don't do this, do provide an alternative action. So here's the bad example, okay? Don't suggest overhyped places that are crowded and expensive. Again, there's probably some uncrowded, inexpensive, super cool hostels in Romania, but that's not where we want to go. So this example is giving it too much free range. We want to be more positive and we want to ask it for alternative actions instead of just telling it what not to do. So what is the alternative to overhyped locations? Good. Here's the good. Instead of including crowded or expensive activities, so instead of doing blah, 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 right? Prioritize lesser known gems and budget friendly options that will still provide a memorable experience for our family. So instead of doing this, please do this. And that's what that means. All right, so let's bring it all together. This prompt that we've gradually grown using simple and specific words, no fluff. Here it is. Provide three options for a seven day family summer. I'm obviously hitting all the key points here, right? Summer vacation in Europe for two adults and two kids. Suggest locations that fall within a $4,000 budget. And instead of including crowded or inexpensive activities, prioritize lesser known gems and a budget friendly and budget friendly options that will still provide a memorable experience for our family. Then when we hit send, the results that we get that we gonna get <laughs> that we get are much more valuable to us. And I'm just very Portugal. I've gotten Croatia before, Slovenia, some really unique options. Uh, Portugal, let's see, Croatia. And an interesting font there. That's the first time I've seen that. And Slovenia again, very good. Great options, all within our budget too, which is pretty neat. Uh, oh, by the way, this Claude 3.0 model, really cool, coming up with some good stuff. Uh, but there you go. Start simple, be specific. And why should you care? Great question. <laughs> well, why should you improve your prompting skills? AI is the future. And the future is now. And no, AI will not replace humans, but humans that use AI will replace humans that don't. And the only way to get good at using AI is by using AI. Thank you for watching. If I have inspired you to try new prompting techniques, please let me know. Don't forget to check out the next video, which will be covering context and framing. All right, don't forget, lots of link goodness in the description down below all the links from the resources that I used to develop this and all the impending videos are down there. Please like, subscribe, share this with somebody else that could use it or would like it as well. And as always, if you leave questions, I will leave answers. Now go and be productive.